Hello there, Year 3. This is Mrs. Heppelwhite, if you haven't already guessed, and I am here on this lovely Friday afternoon to take you through your times table lesson. Now, I really, really hope you can hear me clearly because I know there's been some issues this week with the videos I've recorded and the audio level. Um, this is the third time I've tried to record this video after listening to it back, and I am literally shouting well I'm not shouting but I'm really raising my voice into the microphone so I really really hope that you can hear me properly um, because if you can't I don't know I think I might just have a cry um, so please let me know if you heard me properly um, so we're going to do the four times tables um, we started them last week so as always on a Friday it's quite chilled it's quite nice to round the week off with a with you know a nice chilled sort of activity so we'll do a little bit of chanting we'll have a game and then there'll be an independent activity for you to crack on with and then you can do times table rock stars or whatever else it is that you enjoy to help you learn your times tables so here they are four times tables we're going to chant them together first so here we go one times four is four two times four is eight three times four is twelve four times four is sixteen five times four is twenty six times four is twenty four seven times four is twenty eight eight times four is thirty two nine times four is thirty six ten times four is forty eleven times four is forty four and 12 times 4 is 48. So don't forget these facts, which will help you with your 4 times table. So the last digit goes in a pattern of 0, 2, 0, sorry, 0, 4, 8, 2, 6, 0, 4, 8, 2, 6, and so on. They're all even numbers. They are all numbers that end in either a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So if you see a number, if you guess it and it's an odd, you know it's not in the four times table. It has to be even. And it's the two times table doubled. So 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 add 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 add 4 is 8, and so on. So it's like the two times table, but it's just doubled. So that's quite a nice little link, a way to make links, one of our learning powers, um, to in order to sort of understand and have a bit more understanding of the four times table. So that's our chanting. Now we're going to go on to our quick game. We're going to play Who is the Imposter? We like this game. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight calculations on my screen, all to do with the four times table. Some of them are correct and some of them aren't, and those are the imposters. So please feel free to pause this video now uh, and see if you can find the imposters and then press play for the answers. Let's figure out these imposters then. So I can tell you that 2 times 4 is 8, so that one is correct. 10 times 4 is not 41. The reason why we know more than anything is that 41 is an odd number, and we know all numbers in the 4 times table are even. 10 times 4 is actually 40. 8 times 4 is not 35. Once again, 35 is odd, so we know it's not going to be that one. It is 32. 7 times 4 is 28, so that one is correct. 6 times 4 is 24. 9 times 4 is not 37, it's not an odd number, it's 36. 3 times 4 is 12, and 5 times 4 is 20. So there were a couple of little cheeky imposters lurking there, wasn't there? Um, so hopefully you got all of those right. Now, onto your independent activity today, okay? You are going to make your own board game for the four times tables. Here's an example of one, okay? So here's an example, I'll just talk you through it briefly. So you can see it's got a start point, and so you would roll the dice, and say you rolled a four, you would go one, two, three, four, and you'd have to answer four times five, or five times four, because remember, it's commutative, so we can flip it around. So you'd say, okay, four times five, or five times four is 20. If you get the answer correct, you get to roll again, okay? If you don't, it passes over to the next person, or you can just play it by yourself, which is quite nice. Um, so you roll again, and you keep going, so you might land on a division, eight divided by four. Well, how many fours are there in eight? There's two, so eight divided by four is two, and once you've got the answer, you roll, and you keep going. And you can put some fun spaces in, like go back two spaces or help a friend so you can sort of swap or um, go forward one space and all the way to the end until you finish. So you can make a board game that looks like this one. You can have it sort of um, in the portrait style and have it with the different shapes, but you can make it look however you want to. 
And the really nice thing about this is you can be as creative or as you know as least creative as you want to. So if you want to make it on a piece of scrap paper, that's absolutely fine. If you want to make it on you know a piece of card that you've got, that's fine as well. You can make it as adventurous as you like. Okay. Um, so as you're making it, make sure you're answering the questions as you go. Remember, it's just the four times table. If you want to do a little bit of extra challenge, you can add in those division ones as well. Um, and just make sure you're answering them as you go so that you know the answers, because there is no point making a, um, a board game if you don't know any of the answers yourself. <laughs> and then you can play with someone else at home or you can play with it by yourself, whichever you would prefer. OK, I don't know, I've still got flashcards there. I don't want you to do that. Um, you can share a picture of your finished board game with your teacher and they would love to see it. Um, and yeah, that's your independent activity for times tables this afternoon. It's making your own four times table board game. Um, once you've done that, if you find you've still got a little bit of time left over and you want to do more times tables, remember times table rock stars is always there for you. It is an amazing tool for you to learn your times tables, okay? Because one of the best ways to learn them is simply to just keep practicing them over and over. That's one of the only ways that they are going to stick in your head. OK, so that's the lesson from me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it, that you're going to enjoy making your board game and playing them. And I hope you've had a good week. And please, please have a lovely.